Hello everyone, I'm Preeti and the topic which I'm going to discuss today is all, all about a race. Now what actually array means? So most of us actually know what array is. Array is a very important topic to be studied. It is a part of a data structures as well. So all of us know to study a data structures, it takes months together. So since array is a part of a data structure, it is actually an important topic to be studied. Now what actually an array is? An array, an array is a part of a data structure, which groups or which contains only a similar data in it. Now to study an array, we must actually know how to declare an array and also how to initialize in array. Now in this video I'll actually show you how to declare an array. We can declare an array in different ways and uh, I will just show you the simpler way in how we can actually declare an array. So let me quickly get started to show you how to declare an array. To declare an array I'll show you the syntax. First later I'll show you the example. The syntax is first the data type. Which type of array you actually want to declare? If, if, if you want to in, uh, declare an integer type array or the string array or the boolean array or the character array, you can declare any type of array you want. So the first is the data type. The next is the reference variable name, the name which is the view are giving to an array, which is also called as a reference variable. So reference variable name. Again, a single square brackets. Now what actually single square brackets mean? A single square brackets indicates it is a single dimensional array. If you will give a two brackets in this way, so it will be a two dimensional array. So uh, later I'll get into this uh, two dimensional array topic. But for now, let it keep it simple with the single dimensional array. This is actually a syntax of how to declare an array. Now moving on how to Mm, sorry, now I'll tell you the example based on this syntax. First, we're supposed to give data type. So I'll give int and the reference variable, which is the name of an array. You can give anything as a name of a variable, which you already know. So I'll give a and the square brackets. So this is a syntax or this is uh, an example that is to how to declare an array. That is a data type, a reference variable name and a square bracket. A single square bracket is of single dimensional whereas a two square brackets is of two dimensional array. Now as I said we can give any data type for an array. So I'll show you with the string, string a. I'll give a1 and you can give boolean and you can give char so in this way you can actually declare an array there's also another simpler way to declare an array that is you can simply shift the square brackets this way int d so this is also one of the method to do, I mean the way to declare an array. So I ha I hope you people have actually understood how to declare an array. It is very simple based on the syntax which has been given. Just try doing it. And uh, in the next video, I'll be showing how to initialize an array. So please do watch it. And uh, thank you for watching this video.